Hey guys, um, I'm going to do this uh, hopefully short video on setting air screws. There always seems to be a lot of confusion on this and uh, since it is an adjustment uh, on exactly how to do this. Now the actually uh, the air screw is very simple uh, to set um, on Makunis uh, they what they their factory wants or design the uh, carburetor work best with the air screw set at uh, one and a half to one and three quarters turns out and that's basically from just a screw it in lightly and then you know one and a half to one and three quarters out so um, when you do when you're do testing your pilot jet and your air screw it's really simple uh, get your motor warm and then one at a time just start screwing your air screw in and out until you get the highest idle on that one cylinder. Once you get there, leave it, do the other two cylinders, and then you can shut the motor off and then count the turns out. All right. As I said, you should be in that one and a half to one three quarter one and three quarter turns out. Now, if it's screwed in uh, less than one and a half. That means it's trying to get more fuel through the carburetor. So that means that the uh, the pilot's too small. Now obviously if it's out more than one and three quarters, it means the pilot's too big because it's trying to put in more air. Um, from what McCooney says, any more than two turns out, uh, there's a chance of the air screw falling out because of the spring pressure. So don't adjust them way out there and then hope the screw doesn't fall out. So... Um, the reason for this basically is what you're doing is you're getting the air fuel mixture correct for idle and only idle. Uh, that's where your, your best mixture ratio is once you get the highest idle. That's where it's right for that motor. So once you get this done and get your pilots in the size range you need to where you're in that one and a half, one and three quarters turns out, then leave the air screw alone. Your pilot air screw system is just for idle. Your closed throttle, leave that alone. If you're having trouble anywhere else in your carburetor, that's either, that's absolutely something else. It's either your slide cutout, your needle jet, your needle, your needle position, or your main jet. So um, a lot of guys try to fiddle fart around with uh, this, trying to fix a mid-range or whatever. It It can kind of fix but it's a roundabout way and it's not the correct way to do it and then it throws off your idle so again once you get the pilot jet the right size and your air screw in that one and a half to one three quarter range you are done with that everything else adjusting the carb has to do with every all the other circuits so just leave that one alone and uh that's basically it. it's pretty simple to do so hope this helps